Hey there, it's me Red Knight and welcome back to my channel for a heyday video. Now for today's video I'm going to be focusing on expansion materials. Now we're always looking for that one person who sells a lot of expansion materials and the actual roadside shop is a wonderful place to go to and if you are lucky you can find that one friend who often sells pieces that they don't need. Now, they could relate to both the barn and the silo, it could be land expansion, it might even be town. Now, for myself, I'm the kind of person who enjoys looking through my friend's actual roadside shops, trying to find if they've got any expansion materials for sale, like this one here. I'm going to buy those deeds as an example. There's paint buckets down there, there's uh, hand drills as well. Now, those ones relate to the town, and that's not part of my actual collection at the moment. So you'll see that I've already spent 10. Now, we all know there is a limitation within the game at the moment. If you come up to the top where your XP bar is located and you click on the second tab there, it tells you that your daily allowance for expansion material is 80. Well, you can actually get a little bit more than 80 if you, let's say as an example, purchase 79 and then the last purchase you make is for 10, that will take you up to 89. That's okay. Um, so you're still making purchases within specific limitations. However, if you already have the 80 and you try to buy more, it won't let you. Now, I've just made 10 there and I've got basically 17 hours and 54 minutes until uh, the recycle or the limit cycles again and then it comes back to that 80 limit and I can start collecting another 80. Now I know a lot of players out there don't like this. Uh, for myself okay it doesn't really bother me that much. I expand when I can as and when I can and I work on different areas. Sometimes I find expansion materials and I think yes I can buy those and I've hit the limit. Oh well someone else can just grab them and they can expand their farm. Uh, now I know a lot of my friends actually like to trade and they like to use the trading option as a way to expand their barn and their silo. Maximum limit for barn and silo as you know is 15,000. Now personally I'd like to see this increased more and more and more especially as the game develops. There are a lot more products now and it is becoming more challenging even for myself to store all of my items now. Uh, I'm finding that sometimes 3,850 is not enough but then again I do have 430 get rice in there which I've just harvested because of a actual valley task so I need to sell those off as well. Uh, there are some other items down there that maybe I don't need to keep in storage so as an example like fruit for example like these ones down here olives I don't have to keep those in the storage I can keep those on the trees so it's actually worthwhile having a lot of trees within the game that do contain the fruit that you can then harvest later and then the only ones you need to worry about are the items that you need to start growing uh, which are the ones that use the actual land now some of those take many many hours some of those can be on very quickly Another way to deal with silo storage issues is not to worry about certain items. Like if you go to the newspaper, if you need corn, for example, why store corn when everybody else sells it? So let them make it and sell it. It's the same with the wheat. Now, you might think, well, OK, well, I don't need to do a lot of things. So that makes it easier for me as well. So why store indigo? Other people sell indigo, but they're selling for full price. Well, if they want to make and sell it, uh, pay them for their time, you don't have to spend the time making it. Okay, then you can just buy it off them. Sometimes you'll be lucky and you'll get a good deal. But you might think, well, okay, well, what if I want tea leaves or something? Will people make that and sell it? Probably not. If you're lucky, you might find someone. But you get used to knowing what items are for sale within the newspaper. Now, it doesn't always come up like you think, I need some strawberries. And you'll be waiting and waiting and waiting and then there's no strawberries. And you think like, no, what do I do? And then all of a sudden, strawberries come up. You'll go there to buy them and they are sold. And it's like, oh my God, no, somebody bought the strawberries that I wanted. But don't worry, there's always another person selling later. Oh, while well, I'm here, let's see if I can help. No, 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 can't do that one. Oh, I could do that one and that one. There you go. You can send your boat away now. And there's my beautiful logo. So, and I'll take the XP points, which is very nice. And while I'm here, let's see if I can find a toolbox. Because you never know, there could be something wonderful inside. There it is. There's a toolbox. Tap on it. And I got screws. Yay. More expansion materials for my expansion material video. Yeah, I like that one.
Right, so what are the expansion materials? Well, you've already guessed there are silo expansion materials. You'll see down here I've got 97 of the screws and only need 96, so what's the point of keeping the additional one? I could also sell that one and make some money as well, so yeah. Remember, you don't have to store thousands of thousands of items in your barn for expansion. You just need to focus on what you want to expand at that time. So for me, as an example, my town is a wonderful place and I've just upgraded a load of buildings down here already. Now, each of my buildings is maxed out at level 33. So there's the option of upgrading to level 34 when I get it and I can start saving all of these gorgeous materials. But why bother? Like the next upgrade is in another 25,000 experience points and although I do love the town the visitors do take quite a bit of time to turn around and the XP points I the reputation points for upgrading town visitors is not a lot so I usually sell those town expansion materials until I actually need them then I start collecting so, like I said, sell what you don't need. Now, in relation to the land, I've already opened up my land in my town, so I don't have to worry about that one. If I come to my fishing area, same situation for this basic farm I've got here. I've opened everything up down there as well. Ooh, mystery nets, I wonder. <gasps> oh my god. Oh, 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 look at that. Oh, Wow, 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 wow. I don't believe it. I got a pearl of the sea. Oh my god, look at that gorgeous decoration. Wow. Oh yeah, what a perfect item. Beautiful. That is a gorgeous decoration to get within the actual game and I do like that one. Now I've got some nice fish pieces down there. There is a block of gold ore and an axe very nice indeed mystery nets cost diamonds but sometimes you might get something wonderful eh that one's not so good two empty spaces but the saw's nice oh my god i got a pearl of the sea sweet now more mine items blue vouchers and fish which is good there's another one down there oh we look we got the expansion material so there's deeds down there there's wooden planks and those lovely barrels oh yeah i love my barrels i really do i've got thousands of those now all from the mystery nets oh, but i do need some other decoration okay there's some tape down there as well which is very nice indeed i'll take that one and there's one more mystery net oh, jam and expansion materials as well for the land very nice indeed so mystery nets do give you expansion material regular nets i'm afraid are only fish but it's still okay though i think i'll leave the rest of those there for the moment i'm actually tempted to place down another mystery net i've got it there how's my valley item so fishing 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 for two points tomorrow's fishing as well i might actually hold off on that one okay but Oh my god, I'm so happy about that one. Let's go and place it down on the beach. So let's go put it on the beach. I got a pearl of the sea. Sweet, sweet, sweet. We go put that one down there. So decoration, we come on down. And we find the pearl of the sea. Where's the pearl of the sea? There we go. I've got ten of those now. Look at that one. That's what it looks like, everybody. So it's a beautiful decoration you get from the fishing area. And it looks gorgeous. Oh, lovely, lovely, lovely. I'm super happy. Right, okay, nothing to collect from my actual animal sanctuary there, so no more expansion materials there, we are good. Right, can't do any harvesting at the moment, which is fine. Okay, thank you very much, Brianna, for doing my buildings. Right, now, the expansion I do need at the moment is to do with my land. I've done all of it over here, and I'm just working on this area down here. So I've started actually collecting land expansion materials, and if I click on one of the blocks down there, you'll see I need the permits, which is something you get by doing the actual derbies itself, and hopefully respinning to get them. Now, I've got 19 that needed down there, and I got 11. Mm that could be okay i could be able to do them but i need another six more of those and if i click on round you'll see that there are different variations for what i do need so there's a lot more work necessary for me to open up all of this area am i in a hurry to do it absolutely no uh, heyday is a sedate slow paced game or at least it is for me However, I do know many of my friends like to rush the game and being as high level as they can, uh, having everything open is wonderful for them, but that's not my cup of tea. Oh, I can do a piece of land there. Should I do it or not, I wonder. So is it actually worth it? Well, there's no decoration there, which is a shame. 
Mm, I'd rather actually open something that's got more deco, but that still needs to be done. But oh well, let's do it. So we're going to do this one, this one, this one, this one. Use the permits as well, and then you can open up the land like that. Gives you more space to play around with. You can blow up the rocks. You can chop down the trees if you wanted to. Hey, Day, can I have rocks and I can have this walling as decoration within the game? I so want to have it. I really, really do. I'd love to be able to have a area that's been opened up and then closed off again. Same with the dead water as decorative pieces. I think they would be wonderful within the game. Then I could chop everything down and then just replace those with new decoration and then restyle my farm a lot more. Okay, right, let's get back to the video. Now, you've already seen that I've purchased 10 items. I've got another 70 to go. My main goal here is my land expansion. I'm not really using anything else at the moment. I'm kind of like selling off the pieces I don't need. So if I've got any town items, I sell those because it's just taking up space. And then the rest, I just get the money from. Yeah, someone was very lucky and they were able to grab a few pieces from me, which is perfect. I'm always happy to sell items if I don't need them. Uh, but please be aware, I don't do trading because too many people come to my roadside store and buy. And it's very uncomfortable to try to replace something that somebody has jumped in and purchased. Now, I know some groups do do trading. So please, if you do see items for sale in the last stall, don't buy it. Now, if it's like five, six, seven, eight, or nine stalls, it's fair game. That's what I feel anyway. Uh, but uh, at the end of the day, it's down to you whether you purchase or not purchase people selling items. Right, well, let me go and do it. This is what I usually do if I'm looking for expansion materials. I come down to my friend's bar like this, and then I click on the highest level player on my friend's bar. Now, that one is located next to Greg's. If I click on Greg's and I go and have a look at his roadside store, he might sell some items that could be very useful for me. Not everything I want, but if I come to my friends uh, and I can start there. Now, I'm going to do something called stool hopping. Hang on, what's going on, Dan? I want to go to this one, BDR. All right, so I'm going to do something called stool hopping. This is where you jump from stool to stool to stool. And what you're looking is for items that are added down here within the roadside stool that could be purchased and for sale. So I need to purchase another 70 of the land expansion materials. So let's see what I can find. We go down to Nudie. She's a seller of expansion materials, as you can see, but they've all been purchased. I was too late. No, 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 no. Nothing down there from Meet. Again, his items go quickly. My friend Redder, uh, items go very, very fast indeed. A lot of the high level players, when they sell items, they do go quickly. You don't have to start high, you can start lower down. Uh, but I tend to find that uh, if I start near the top and I can just jump down very, very quickly like this indeed. Uh, peanuts. If I needed peanuts, I know where to go. A lot of people selling peanuts these days, but not what I want. So, again, a lot of items down there for sale, but all pre-sold. So we keep going through, and let's see. Now, this may take a bit of time, and it does take time. Um, sometimes you're lucky. <gasps> oh, look at that lot. I will definitely buy the ores. I love the ores because I can make metal bars. Uh, yes, they do fill up my storage very quickly indeed, but that I don't mind. You see, I actually use them for making the metal bars. Uh, and I kind of like that as well. So I know some of my friends like doing the actual mine because it gives them diamonds. Uh, I like buying people's ores because then I can save my metal tasks for later. Uh, but I can load up my machines with those metal bars and I can use them to get more vouchers and I can make jewelry with them as well. Uh, and then I can make other products, which is even nicer. Or I could sell them and get a lot of cash. Jewelers is very nice. I can start making the metal bars with the metal bars I've got. I need more gold. No, I've run out of metal bars. I had a lot of orders the other day that were just like blitz my storage for the actual board. Right, where were we? We're down to here, I think. So we're back down here. Let's go looking, jumping through. Right. No, 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 no. Peanuts don't need. There's nothing there I want. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Sliding on down. And we keep sliding on down. More peanuts for sale. Everyone's selling peanuts these days. I think I've got enough metal ores to keep me going for the moment. So thank you very much. I will hold off on that one. I got a lot in stock until later. They do take up a bit of space, so be aware of that. All right, as we keep going down, 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 down. Empty stores, more. Looks like everyone's doing mining tasks. Hmm, interesting. 
no, nothing for ad, nothing for ad, keep going, keep going, no, all sold, all sold potatoes, all sold, nothing there, don't want those, don't want those ones, okay, I'm happy with everything down there, keep going, no, 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 no. Now, by the way, if you don't like me buying items from your roadside stall, that is okay. Uh, like if I see something like that, I'm going to buy them. If you don't like it, you're welcome to unfriend me. I have no issues with that at all. Uh, I will add people to my account and keep them on there for those who like to play games that I enjoy. If you don't want me there because I purchased something from your roadside stall in a game, then please unfriend me. I have no problems with that at all. Uh, however, if I did buy something and you would like it back, uh, just ask me, don't scream and shout and get all emotional, it's just a game, but just let me know, and I may say yay or nay. I'm a nice guy, I might say no. <laughs> Alright, keep looking, expansion material, am I going to be lucky today? Oh my god, oh look at that one. we we'll take that one down there, that one down there, we we'll take two of those, and the bricks I don't actually need. So that should take me up to 13 now, I believe, so that's kind of good. Keep going. Got some nice mine tools there as well, so that was a bonus. Okay, 13, 15, 18, 21, 18, 21. oh yeah, and we keep going. I want to get the pop-up message that said, you have exceeded your limit for the day, and I can say, no, hey day, how could you do this to me? Now, I know a lot of people say, well, I can never get enough expansion materials. I'm showing you how easy it is to find those expansion materials. It really, really is. All you've got to do is to go through your friends bar and you will find many of the items that you need. So the key is adding players to your friends. Add them through Facebook, add them through the in-game friends. And then every now and then when you want to do some blitz in, go through the roadside stores. You can be focusing on one or another expansion. Just pick and choose the ones you want and then you are good to go if i were doing the town i'd be very very happy today indeed now you may say well okay well what if i want to buy more than the 80 and keep going well there are other players out there so don't be greedy okay you can come back in a few more hours and then do that one there let those players enjoy it as well and get those items that you can't buy it's not going to hurt you so well, then again, maybe. Like sometimes you'll be thinking, like, no, I wanted that item and now it's gone. I've lost count. I really have. I don't even know how many I've purchased now. Oh well. We hit the limit. We hit the limit. We'll see. Let's keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Hmm. Lots of pumpkins. Same situation. You're looking for vegetables. Nice way to find them. Oh, I miss the old events where we would like uh, buy items then donate them for an event. Yeah, especially for the Halloween. It used to be fun going through people's roadside shops and then trying to find all the fruit and vegetables that they had sold. So you could then donate it to the event. It was fantastic. You need to bring those back, hey, Day. They were a lot of fun. I'll take that, take the ice cream, take those and those and those and those. Okay, I don't mind spending my money on goods that people are making. I really don't. So Sharon, thank you very much. You are beauty. <gasps> I would have bought all of that. I would have been like the Miha don't buy. I would have put them. So sorry. Uh, if they had been there, I would have purchased them. So don't buy. <laughs> it's a game. I'm going to buy, of course. Don't be stupid. I like those don't buy messages, they're nuts. I'm selling something, but please don't buy it. Yes, I know it's in my roadside stall, but please don't buy it. I know you're not in the same group as me, and I'm going to place your picture all over every single Facebook group that I do belong to, because you purchased something that was in my roadside stall. So, please don't buy it. I did say in my title, don't buy. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, it's hilarious. It really, really is. Come on, I want the message as well. we got to get more. Wow, so many peanuts. I think I might stop actually progressing my squirrels. I don't need to make any. Anyone's selling peanuts. So, that's a crop that is produced and sold very, very quickly indeed. We need more boats and other items that require peanuts because they're just sitting there in the roadside shops. 
Um, even some of the items that are made, like the requests are few and far between, or at least I think so anyway. Do, 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 do. We're down in the 180s. This is good. Now, by the way, when you are looking at a roadside stall sometimes, because people have many, many crates, you may find the odd item that is further out of view. Now, it's your choice if you actually want to tap and look and slide on over. Personally, though, it doesn't bother me too much. I'll just tap the front screen. If I see more carried over, I might slide and look. Uh, but at the end of the day, I'm not really going to worry too much about what is hidden out of the way. Yes, I may miss a wonderful deal, and I really may miss some wonderful items. But I know that if I'm on the left-hand side, if it's being used for a trade and it's over on the right-hand side, then I'm not really going to be jumping in. So there is that kind of factor as well. Left-hand side is safe, right-hand side is trade. You, you know, basically, then you're not going to have too many issues. Maybe. Do, 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 do. Let's keep going, keep going. Come on. Okay, lots of expansion material. I'm too late on some of the items and in time for others. Okay, lots of uh, saws and axes today. I've been very lucky on this side, people selling those. That will allow me to chop down a lot of bushes and remove trees as well. So that's kind of cool. Another great way of actually picking up those items is doing this. Oh my god, look at that lot. That would have been perfect. I would have bought the whole lot. I really would. And actually, I'm going to go back to that one. So, I would just like to say that it's not Christmas anymore. Winter has gone. So, I love the designs. I really, really do that I see on people's farms. There were some crazy patterns and lots of foxes and things like that. But Christmas is over. Like, we're halfway through 2020. I know it sucks. Yeah, it's probably one of the worst years I've experienced in my life of living anyway, in relation to social interaction. But Christmas is over, so we, we could put it away now, please. Go with the spring, get some roses and flowers there, make it look more beautiful. Give us that positive feeling. Then when it comes around to December, put the Christmas decoration back and then I will come and visit you down your chimneys. Yes, indeed. Then eat all of your mince pies and drink your sherry. Actually, I'm not sure if I would drink the sherry. Uh, I might just take the bottle home because drinking and driving is not a good thing. Even though I do have the reindeer pulling the sled. Uh, I've kind of got to control them, though. Uh, by the way, if you do like Christmas movies, uh, if you have Netflix, I recommend the movie Claws with a K. Oh, it's such a good animation, and it talks about the postman and Claus, Santa Claus as well, and it is a wonderful movie. I've watched it more than once now, uh, and I just love the way that the whole story and the characters all build up together, so you've got to check that one out. Yeah. Even if it's not Christmas time. <gasps> that would have been a good one. Now, that one, I don't mind sliding down to see if there's anything else there. But they're already gone, so that's a shame. Okay, keep looking. <laughs> More peanuts. Come on, we're waiting for a message. Ah, lots of ore there, lots of indigo. See, some of those items you don't need to be making. Like, even with the eggs as an example, like, as I see someone selling eggs, I quite often buy them. Um, same with strawberries. Like, uh, it reduces my time. Uh, they get the money as well, and I don't mind that part. Occasionally, you'll go somewhere, and they're selling items for a small amount of coinage as well. So, if you can make a bit of money out of them selling items for a lower price, then why not go for it? And thank you for the love. I really do appreciate that one. Cute dog, by the way. So, let's keep going. Right, 168, okay, keep going down, 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 168, 168, lots of 168. Aha, there's my friend. Now, Greg here, so Fox Creek, he has one of the best design farms that I've seen in a while. I made a video on it, and it is gorgeous. You've got your river starting up the top there, it comes down and around like so. 
comes down through the trees, goes up round the back there, down across the waterfall. It then comes back on itself, goes under the bridge, flows on down and comes back to another piece. So I love the way that he created this design. It is really, really cool. Also, if you add him as a friend, he is one of the most generous neighbors that I've actually got. Does a lot of my crates, helps out many of my friends as well. So even joins me for my live streams and talks. Yeah. And recently he found out that one of the heyday players that actually comes to my stream lives within the same area as he does. So uh, they've arranged a meetup. So in fact, if you do play heyday and somebody else is within the vicinity of where you live and you both play heyday, why not arrange to meet up? Now, before you give away too much information, maybe chat on social media, make sure you're comfortable with each other first and then possibly go and and stalk each other and then find out where you work and spend all of your money at that workplace just to get an introduction and then go out for coffee and cake and let the romance bloom and then once you decide to get married you tell me you invite me to the country for a wedding I will come on over I will bring lots of hankies because I'm bound to cry and then me in my uh, giraffe onesie uh, or maybe cow onesie or sheep onesie. I don't know yet which one should I wear for your wedding. Uh, it could be so much fun indeed. Oh my god, it could be hilarious. A heyday wedding. <gasps> we could all dress up as characters from the game, couldn't we? Oh my god. Uh, I'd love to be a cow with so many others. Yep, indeed. Oh, we could have milkshakes and many things. Oh, more axes. Oh, it's my lucky day. Uh, keep looking. More ores down there. Some nice pieces there. I would have taken all of those. Okay, don't need those. Keep going down. More peanuts there as well. Kathy. Oh, she's selling some nice town items, but I don't need town today. So keep going, keep going, keep going. And we're still looking. Lots of pumpkins, lots of other bits and bobs. Very nice indeed. Now, you see, I started up pretty high and I'm working my way down. Okay, it's going to take a long time to actually go down through your friends, uh, depending on how many you've got. Is it worth it? Absolutely. Do enough people do it? No, they don't. Uh, does it take a bit of time? Yes, it can do. Uh, is it useful? Absolutely. Occasionally, as you go down, keep your eye out for an exclamation mark on the person's name because you never know that exclamation mark could be an opportunity to actually uh, gain some more XP from helping out as well. Uh, I know some people don't do the store hopping for everybody, they actually just go and do their help bar and then help those that are requesting help. The trouble is, because they're requesting help, other people will see that help as well. Go there go straight to their stall, buy the items and maybe won't help. Yeah, so it depends on the situation. Sometimes you'll be lucky, sometimes not. <laughs> Indigo's very, sorry, not indigo. Cotton's very cheap, potato's very cheap. Do I mind buying all of this? Absolutely not. Because what I can do is later sell it for full price and make some money. Oh my goodness me, look at that one, that one. We're going to run out of space very soon. Will I have enough space for that one as well? Yeah. Should I do it or not? Hmm. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, we just did it. Oh, we still got time. Oh my God, let's go help while I'm here anyway. Can I do that one? No, I can't. Anything else? No, 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 no. Right, so that's Dion 161. So on the request option, that's down here. So 161, where are you? Oh, I've lost him. He's gone. No, you're not on my help request bar. That's very strange. Ah, there we go. It's refreshed. So I can come back to that one in a moment. Let's go and have a look. How many do I need? So I'm up to 84 now. So I've actually gone over the limit. So if I tried to purchase anything else now, I'm going to get that little pop-up message. Now, was it useful? Well, I got very close to expanding. I need a few more of the nails. So I'm very pleased on that one. For the actual bar, okay, I've increased there by a few more as well. 
When it came down to the actual land piece as well, okay, uh, I've gone up to 30, 41, and 48 there, so uh, I was able to gain quite a few more pieces. The only trouble is I don't really have the permits now, so I can't open up anything else until I get some more permits. No! So I now have a permit problem. Ah, oh, there we go. I could do that one if I had more permits or if I had more of those items, but I've run out, so not good indeed. So, hey, Day, can I have some more permits, please? Pretty, 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 please. I promise I will be good. But um, I've capped out now. But let's go back and see. See what I would have missed out on. So we're at the 161 again. We're going to slide down to my friend Lynn. She's got nothing for me. Keep going down, down, down. Let's see. Will I get the message? Who will give me the message to say, Sorry, Ricky, you have reached your limit for the day. <gasps> I love that one. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Lots of peanuts again. Okay. Don't need that town expansion. Let's see. Now, this is the issue that some people don't like. They don't like the fact that uh, they want to be able to do this and they want to be able to buy more. Now, I do sympathize and it would be nice to see Heyday uh, actually adjusting the limits. Uh, that could be very, very cool indeed. Like sometimes I feel that the higher you are within the game, you should have more open limits to what you're able to purchase or do. Um, but then again, I don't like limits as well. Because like, uh, I think limitations sometimes when you're playing a game uh, can also be very restrictive. But um, with some limitations, they top you from going too fast. They slow you down and they make it more pleasurable in that way. But everyone has their own playing style. They really, really do. Okay, come on. We need one more, one more person selling something that I can't buy. So, I'm looking for someone to sell something and I can't buy them. So I don't need any of those items. I would just normally skip them. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Don't need anything down there. Do, 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 do. One thing I'd like to see more is the ability to have some trading boxes. I really would. For people who love to trade, I'd like to see some uh, like uh, blue boxes or red boxes added in to the game that would allow people to trade. Okay, there we go. There's some screws down there. I would normally purchase those if I saw them. So if I click on it, it's going to say, I'm sorry, your daily limit has been reached. Unfortunately, the game purchase has reached its limitation. And as a result, you are unable to make any additional purchases for expansion material today. Should you wish to make a land expansion, barn expansion or salary expansion, maybe even a town expansion purchase today, I'm afraid that is no longer possible. <laughs> you now need to come back tomorrow, or should I say in about 17 hours time, because we like to reset at a specific time. So you are unlucky. <laughs> 80 limit has been reached. No, 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 I hate you. No, how could you do this to me? There's a mistake. I am Red Knight. I should be able to purchase everything. No, I don't need limitations. All right, so I've reached the limit. It's not as if I can open up any land anyway. I've maxed out, so. But I'm very, very happy with the purchase I've done today. As you can see, that's a nice, easy way to gain some items. I took about 30-odd minutes, and I've reached the 80 limit. So 30 minutes worth of work, get 80 pieces to allow me to expand, come back tomorrow in like 17 hours and 23 minutes. 17 hours and 23 minutes. Oh, my God, that's so long. No, I'm going to have to go out and socialize or meet the family. Oh no, I've got to meet other people. That's terrible indeed, isn't it? No, oh, no, I'm going to have to chat. <laughs> I'm going to talk to the dragon. Uh, she's going to say to me, go to work. And I say, I don't want to. I'm waiting 17 hours and 23 minutes for some expansion materials. Okay, right. I'm going to stop there. Actually, 22 minutes now. Yay, it's gone down one minute. Right, it is worth it. I think so. It doesn't take a long time, and it is 
not stressful at all. Key things, add as many friends as you can. Ask them for their in-game friends codes for their farms. Once you've added them as a friend, then you've got the ability to interact with them. You've got maximum 250. Remember, you can follow people. So if you follow someone, you can head on over to their actual farms and then you can start helping them out and maybe looking for things and doing different things as well. You might even find your toolbox there as well if you're lucky. So you've got that option. Because Facebook is an option as well, you can connect your Facebook account and that is brilliant. If you've got more than one farm, you can switch between your farms and maybe you can go searching for more expansion materials and save them on your spare farm, uh, which has another 80 limit, and then keep them there for later when you want to transfer them over to your main farm, thus allowing you to upgrade uh, more frequently and more comfortably. So use any extra baby farms to collect those resources from your friends, store the 80 limits, and then once you've got enough, you can start transferring them over and then upgrading. When you're at a lower level like myself, okay, the, the quantities you need, okay, there's like three days worth of basic limits there, and then there's the additional one to get up to 96, so we're looking at four days uh, worth of limitations there. That's not a problem, I can deal with that one. But as you start going higher and higher and higher, uh, the amounts increase and becomes more challenging. That's why I think high level players need to have a limit raised, I really, really do. So I think it would be more beneficial in the long run. Okay, right. I'm going to say goodbye, everybody. I've enjoyed myself today. Hopefully you enjoyed my conversation as we progressed. I now need to welcome my XP because I'm getting very, very close to leveling up as well to 140. And I get 12 diamonds to hit 140. Oh my God, I can't wait. That's only another 20. 9,000 XP to go. Ooh, that could be fun. But I will see you next time. You take care, have fun, and thanks for watching. Bye now. Oh, don't forget to subscribe. See you.